Okay, so today I'm going to be performing an assessment of the peripheral vascular system. And by first, to start off, I'm going to start inspecting the patient. Um, I'm going to look at her skin, look and see if she's cyanotic, if she's blue anywhere, and she is not. I'm going to feel her skin, see if it's warm, is it dry, is it moist, and her skin is warm, it's dry. Um, I can also start by checking capillary refill with the patient to see how adequate her perfusion is. And she has brisk capillary refill, which means it refills in less than three to five seconds. And uh, so that's a good sign. We want, we want to do that if we have good adequate perfusion. Um, so just in looking at the patient, um, she seems to have good um, circulation. So um, I can then start by asking the patient some other questions related to circulation, um, especially in her legs and stuff. Have you had any weakness from walking? Any cold, um, tingling toes, numbness? Mm -hmm. No, okay. Um, are you noticing that your wounds on your legs or in, on your feet, they have trouble healing? Mm -hmm. No, okay. Um, any trouble with balance? No, no, okay. Any pain anywhere in your legs or feet? Mm -hmm. No, okay. So it appears um, just by asking her questions that um, we're going to have a good um, finding with the peripheral vascular system because she doesn't seem to have any circulation problems just from asking her those questions. Um, so from there, I can go ahead and ask her if she noticed her leg swelling. Mm -hmm. No, okay. So if I wanted to assess for like ortho edema, um, I would look in her legs and I would feel of her legs, see if they're swollen anywhere. I could feel them bilaterally. Ortho edema is when um, you have swelling in your legs whenever you're walking because blood rushes down there obviously and you get off your legs the swelling will go down or sometimes you can be sitting and they'll swell once you get up and walk that edema goes away because you're moving that fluid around um, so it doesn't appear that the patient has any ortho edema I can also check for lymphedema if the patient had lymphedema I would notice pitting in her legs um, this could be on one side or both sides um, as far as it could be on one leg or the other leg and I don't notice any pitting edema with the patient's legs um, or in her ankles or anything like that. So the patient does not have lymphedema. Um, from there, I could check her lymph nodes. So I could check her axillary lymph nodes. I could feel them bilaterally, see if there's any swelling. And I don't feel any swelling. Is there any tenderness when I'm pressing? No, okay. So now I could check the epitrochlear lymph nodes. I'm feeling for any swelling and I don't feel any, any pain there. No, okay. Now I can feel all the femoral lymph nodes, any pain when I'm pressing there, and I don't feel any swelling. Um, and then from there I can also check the patient's pulses to check her um, circulation. So I can start by feeling the radial pulse, and they're even and equal bilaterally. I can then feel the brachial pulse, even and equal bilaterally. The femoral pulse, or the inguinal area. I can feel for the popliteal pulse behind the knee bilaterally. And then I can feel for the posterior tibial on the inside of the ankle. And then I can feel for the dorsalis pedis on the top of the foot. And then both of her pulses on both sides of the feet. Everywhere that I've felt have been equal and even bilaterally. Um, so that concludes my... Um, survey of the peripheral vascular system.